They never tell you in library school that you might have to perfect the art of singing and dancing in front of a group of teenagers to keep their attention. I had no idea. And I'm tone deaf. Hi, thanks for joining me for another Q&A The Librarian Way. My name's Emily and it's November, which means National Novel Writing Month, which means I'm going to make a very quick video because I have to get back to writing. I'm already two days behind, um, so I have a lot of words to catch up on. I'm trying to write 50,000 words in one month, which is not easy. Um, this is my third year participating. My first two years I did finish, which was really cool. I finished last year at 11.58 p.m., so I only had a two minute cushion and I'm hoping that I don't have that problem again this year. Um, so I'm going to make a quick video. But if you're participating, if you're thinking of participating next year, this is Emily's three tips to completing National Novel Writing Month. And they are not tips that you can really use, but I'm going to give them to you anyway. Number one, um, if you're not having fun, you're probably not going to finish. And my idea of not having fun is missing my favorite sitcoms at night. By golly, I have worked a long day at work. I deserve to watch The New Girl or Big Bang Theory or The Office. So I'm going to do that regardless of needing to write 2,000 words a day. Um, <laughs> so I take my laptop with me. It's okay to multitask. Take your laptop, put a TV by your desktop computer, and watch your sitcom. And during the commercials, write. You're going to have more fun if it doesn't feel like a chore. Number two, um, it's okay if aliens invade your very modern, realistic world. So at some point, you're going to get stuck. My point is about 30,000 words where I just, I'm done writing or I've managed to write a whole story in just 30,000 words and I have nothing else to add. So last year, I had an alien invasion, an alien invasion and I was able then to kind of start over and get another 20,000 words in. So aliens are okay. It's all right if it doesn't make sense. You're just trying to write 50,000 words. So I'm pro alien. And number three, you don't have to be a good writer to do this. Um, and that's something that I kind of had to come to terms with. I'm not a great writer. Sure, I have aspirations of one day publishing a book. But it's going to take several more tries at NaNoWriMo to kind of make that happen. And actually having the courage to show my work to other people. <laughs> you can't get a book published if you can't let people read your stuff. Um, but you don't have to be a good writer. It's, it's not something that is going to get looked at or it's going to get graded. Just write for yourself. Put in all those inside jokes that you love. Um, write about what you know and, and just have a good time doing it. It's all about expressing yourself. I actually, I started blogging six months ago at the gnominglibrarian.com and I had it in my head that you had to be a great author to blog and you really don't. Um, it's just fun. It's just a way for you to to share um, what you're passionate about and that's what Q&A the librarian way is too. It's an opportunity for us to share what we've learned and to share our passions with the library community. Um, so National Novel Writing Month is no different. Uh, just sit down, write a few thousand words every couple days and you're going to finish. Um, check me out at NaNoWriMo. I'm Gnome Girl 59 if you're participating. I would love to meet you. Um, good luck if you're participating. I'm going to keep everybody updated on the Gnome librarian.com and hopefully I'll see you there. See you next week. Bye.